Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the complex integration, we are starting with the singular points as a base or as a ground for the residue theorem. Different uh, definitions, different terminologies are there like singular points, singular types of sing different singularities, poles and their types. So we are going ahead and just looking at the different examples based on this different concepts. Singular point, a point at which the function f of z is not analytic, is called or it's known as a singular point or singularity. Now there are different types of singularities. First of all, it's isolated singularity. A singular point z equals to a is known as isolated singularity if there is no other singularity within a small circle surrounding the point z equals to a. Otherwise, it is called non-isolated singularity. For example, if we we'll go ahead and check this particular function f of a z, which is z square upon z minus 2, has isolated singularity at z equals to 2. Because in this particular function, this particular function is known to be a singular, having the singular points if the denominator is going to be 0 or this particular function is said to be uh, this analytic function. This is analytic only if the denominator is not 0 or you can say the isolated singularity that means taking the denominator equals to 0, equating it with a 0 that will gives us the singularity. Now, now here in, in this case it is known as isolated singularity because there is no other singularity present in this particular uh, function and uh, surrounding this particular z equals to a. So z equals to 2 is a isolated singularity. Removable singularity is another type which is an isolated singular point z equals to a is known as the removable singularity if limit of f of z at z tending to a is exist and there is no negative power of z minus a in the Lorentz series of f of z that is all bn is going to be 0 in the Lorentz expansion. For example, f of z is sin z upon z, z equals to 0 is the singularity of f of z, limit of sin z upon z that is a function, the limit of this function is equals to 1. Because of this equals to 1 that means it is a finite uh, number, the f of z has a removable singularity at z equals to 0. So we will go and detail and see this um, all these uh, different types of singularities in detail with the help of example. Looking ahead the next type is essential singularity. A singular point z equals to a is known as essential singularity if the number of negative powers power terms of z minus a in Lorentz series is infinite. If we have got this infinite series then it is known as essential singularity. For example, f of z is e to the power 1 upon z minus 2. So if you we'll just observe here, this is we, we can go ahead and find out e to the power z, the expansion of that Maclaurin series, we can have 1 plus z upon 1 upon z minus 2 plus 1 upon 2 factorial into z upon 1 upon z minus 2 the whole square and so on. Since the number of negative powers of the term z minus 2 is infinite, z equals to 2 is essential singularity. And therefore, the another, the last singularity is known as a pole of order m. An isolated singularity z equals to a is known as a pole because again, if you we'll check this, this is again, pole is nothing but an isolated singularity. Even similarly, the removable singularity is also an uh, isolated singularity and on the top of it, there is another condition of limit, finite. Now here in the pole of this order m, its isolated singularity at z equals to a known as pole of order m. If Lorentz series, all the negative powers of z minus a after mth power are 0. That is highest power of 1 upon z minus a is m. m. Then only it is known as the pole of order m. But whenever, suppose for example here, f of z is 1 upon z minus 1 into z minus 3 the whole square. Z equals to 1 is a pole of order 1 because we do have it here just a 1 power here wherein Z equals to 3 is a pole of order 2 because if you we'll observe here it is repeated 2 times. So there are different methods to identify the pole of order M or symbol pole and it is very simple as that per the definition here. So a pole of order 1 is known as a simple pole. So this is what is known as a simple pole. So z equals to 1 is known as a simple pole for this particular function of example. Now meromorphic function, a function f of z which is analytic everywhere in the finite plane except at finite number of poles is called meromorphic function. 
so i've just left this particular uh, definition or particular def uh, this uh, meromorphic function just for you all to go ahead and give you the uh, gist of this particular topic of singular points you might have to face the different examinations wherein you will be actually going ahead and solving this type of singularity and singularities and in mcq format so let us go and solve simple type of example state whether the function is analytic now f of z is analytic everywhere except at the points given by that is denominator equals to 0 as i have told you right rightly denominator equals to 0 if we are uh, den uh, going denominator equals to 0 that is z plus 2 is 0 z square plus 2 z plus 2 is equals to 0 so from here we are going to get it z equals to minus 2 and from here we are going to get this two points that is minus 2 plus 2i upon 2 minus 2 minus 2i upon 2 that is 2 is going going off from here and we will remain here with minus 1 plus or minus i and singular points are z equals to minus 2 and z equals to minus 1 plus or minus i that means z is analytic everywhere except at this z equals to minus 2 and z equals to minus 1 plus or minus 1 and these are known as the singularity of this particular function f of z so i'm just trying to give you the the entire gist of the singularity and singular uh, singularity of a function or a pole everything with this particular session so we'll be going ahead with a uh, uh, n number of questions here so identify the type of singularities of the function so this is one up, e to the power 1 upon z minus 1 as we have taken this type of similar example in the uh, ex, uh, the definitions then let us see that with the help of this example so e to the power z 1 plus z upon 1 factorial plus z square upon 2 factorial and so on using this expansion we can have this expansion of this particular function f of z after having this expansion you can say that since the number of terms of negative powers of z minus 1 are infinite z minus 1 is essential singularity this is as per the definition of this particular uh, essential singularity another question I have purposely taken more number of questions in this particular session just to make you understand what are the different types of singularity and how can we identify just in one or two lines so classify the poles so we have got z square minus z to the power 6 z square e out we are having the poles are given as the denominator equals to 0 so denominator is giving you 0 that means z square into 1 plus z square into 1 minus z square is equals to 0 that is the values are z equals to 0 comma 0 which we are going to get it from here another another point is this plus or minus 1 we are going to get this from this particular uh, not here from here 1 plus or minus 1 and from this particular z 1 plus z square we are going to get it plus or minus i and you can check it here z equals to 0 is a pole of order 2 because this 2 is 0 is repeated 2 times similarly plus 1 minus 1 plus i minus i are the poles of order 1 or it's also known as a simple poles how to identify them are very important you might get this type of examples in the mcqs might be in the examinations like get TOEFL and uh, the GRE and all this kind of examinations. CAT also may have this type of examples. Okay, find the pole and its order of the function sin z upon z to the power 4. Again, the same way sin hyperbolic z uh, having the expansion. Actually, uh, this is not hyperbolic I want. I want the sin z expansion. Sin z expansion is the alternate, the almost same, but we have having this as alternate. I have taken it a hyperbolic, I guess. So please make the correction here. It's a sin z is giving you z minus z cube upon 3 factorial plus z to the power 5 upon 5 factorial and so on. So this is the change in the sin z upon z to the power 4. We have done the sin z expansion of that. If we will take this z to the power 4 inside this particular uh, uh, series so we'll be getting something like this since the highest power of z of uh, highest power of 1 upon z that is 1 upon z minus a is and a in this case is, is 0 here is uh, 3 therefore z equals to 0 is a pole of order 3 check this because we have got the power of 1 upon z minus a but here we have got the power of 1 upon z that is nothing but 1 upon z minus 0 and therefore we are having this particular z equals to 0 is a pole of order 3. 
same thing expand the function z minus sin z upon z square at z equals to 0 classify the singular points at z equals to 0 again z minus z square z z minus sin z upon z square that is uh, 1 upon z square is out z minus sin z we have expanded the same way which we have written it here we have got this z square will go inside this particular bracket we are going to go ahead with this now here z upon 3 factorial minus z cube upon 5 factorial and so on we can have the limit of this function so if you if you are taking the limit because we have to understand at z equals to 0 we have to have limit z equals to z tending to 0 of this particular function if you observe here all these functions or all these terms having the z in the numerator with the positive powers and here will hence we will get the the limit of this particular function as 0 since the limit is finite because it's a 0 we have got some number over here so z is known as a removable singularity it can be removed that's the reason it is known as removable singularity then identify the type of singularity of f of z is 2 minus e to the power z upon z cube f of z is this again the same thing e to the power z the expansion we have written it taking this is what is the expansion of that e to the power z taking z cube inside the bracket we can have it here z cube again this is the highest power of 1 upon z is 3 z equals to 0 is the pole of order 3 for purpose they have taken a different kind of examples here so that you can quickly go ahead and put the mcq or attempt mcq type of questions identify the type of singularity of f of z is e to the power e to the power 1 upon z square again the same way e to the power e to the power 1 by z square so e to the power this which is nothing but e to the power 1 into e to the power this entire bracket so we have we have taken it this separated separation here in this way so it's nothing but e to the power so e to the power 1 into e to the power this particular bracket which is nothing but e that is e to the power 1 into 1 e to the power 1 upon z square again this expansion so this entire expansion will go like this and if you will observe here since the number of terms of a negative powers of z are infinite z equals to 0 is an essential singularity this is what we can easily check in just one or two lines the type of different types of singularities here as well as the simple pole and a multiple pole find the singularities of the function cot of pi z upon z minus a the whole cube that is this we have just cot is nothing but cos by sine and we have uh, taken that the singularities denominator equals to 0 as denominator equals to 0 that means we have got z equals to a then sine of pi z equals to 0 means what pi z is equals to n pi that is n is going to give us 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and so on so z equals to n that means n is not that nothing but 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 and hence since the neighborhood of z equals to a there are infinite number of singularities you can check that there are infinite number of singularities n equals z equals to a is non isolated singularity if we have got the infinite number of singularities at that particular point we can have the non isolated singularity again if you'll check that there is no uh, the restriction that means there is no restriction given to us like for example mod of z minus a is equals to some r or something so if this has been given to us we can have okay so which point is inside that only we can consider here as the singularity but here we can't he ha, they have not given us they have just asked us to discuss about the singularity and therefore there are infinite number of singularity in the neighborhood of this z equals to a and that's the reason it is known as non isolated singularity and yes this is one of my favorite which is known as self observation slide one two three questions have been given to you and i have given you the answers along with that please do solve it is just one or two type one or two steps question but yes this type of questions it will be very useful for you to go ahead and find out the mcq type of questions in your competitive examinations thank you happy learning